hits that bullseye, you're awarded five points. And four, three, and two. In an actual competition, there'd be a white ring around the outside that'd be worth one. Okay, in an actual competition, there'd be a judge watching your feet to make sure you didn't step on or over the line. In an actual competition, you would have to say if your throw counts or it does not count. And invariably, if you say it does not count, you get up there and throw a bullseye, that's known as the kiss of death. So our boss, Mr. Bruce Belanger, did not like those rules. He has developed what he calls the optional throw. We throw it, and if we like it, we keep it. And if we don't, we have the option of throwing again. And my, how our scores have gone up. Now, that's what I throw. Blake, on the other hand, is throwing a single bit hatchet. Now, this has become very popular in establishments around the cities where you can go in and have a pint of your favorite beverage and then throw an ax. What could go wrong there? Anyway, I believe he throws from a little shorter distance, but you gotta remember, the size difference, the size difference, you gotta have a different length away for to get that rotation. Now it only makes one rotation, right? Okay, both of these only make one rotation. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go right up the center, right here. Everybody to my right, you're rooting for Blake. Let's hear it for Blake. Everybody to my left, you're stuck with yours truly. What do you say? All right. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. This is the most serious part of our show, and I take my hat off. And I ask, do we have any active or retired military personnel, police, firefighter, EMT, first responders, truck drivers, teachers, nurses, or farmers in the crowd? Raise your hands. Be recognized. Come on. Get them up there. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We live in a free country. Their service is keeping it free. And I'm going to tell you something. It only took a pandemic for us to realize the importance of the American truck driver. And if anybody's ever caught bad mouthing a farmer with your mouth full, you need to be talked to. And you enjoy your freedom. Thank a vet. That's right. One more round of applause, please. And the last public service announcement before we start this contest. We love to hear cheering, but remember, it's not wise to boo a man with an ax in his hand. Okay, so, we're gonna get this started. Who's rooting for Blake? Who's rooting for me? How many of you people out there do not know where you are or where you came from? There's some in every crowd. Do you want to go first? Oh, you want me to go first? Uh, you got to know what you got to be. Well, <laughs> here we go. Who wants to see a bullseye? <laughs> so do I. That's a four. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was a four, Blake. Ooh, that's a three. What? A five. How do you figure? Two and a three. We're not doing any Chinese arithmetic here, fellas. Okay. Four to three. That was a three. That's enough, folks. Thanks. That's plenty. Okay, I got a seven. He's got a three. Let's see what he can do here. Wow. Wow. He has got an eight. I've got a seven. 
what he has effectively done is come out here and put an enormous amount of pressure on me to come through for you people. An enormous amount of pressure. I agree with the pressure, but it ain't on you. You agree with the pressure, but it ain't on me? Well, what are you saying? I think he's insinuating something. Let's see what I can do. Here we go. That's an 11. So if Blake gets a four or five and he beats me, I think a three ties and a two he loses, 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 loses. And he's got a five, ladies and gentlemen, look at him. He got a 13 out of 15. That's good throwing, very good throwing. Congratulations, Blake. Okay.